In the EU, drones operating in the three main categories. The first one is an open category, is a low risk category, is reserved for leisure drone activities, for like a hobby flight, for low risk commercial activity. And this is the category what we're gonna cover in this video. The second category is a specified category, is a medium risk category, and it's something what is requires some authorization, uh, some risk flight assessment. And for example, if you wanna fly uh, beyond the visual line of sight, or in a no-fly geo zone, that's a specified category. And everything what is not fit into the open category, what is beyond the open category, will go into specified or certified category. And the last category is a certified category, and it's something what is reserved for the highest level of a risk flight. Something, for example, uh, drones uh, deliver the parcel in the future carrying the people, like a taxi drones, and something like that. And the open category is split in the three subcategories. And we got A1, A2, and A3. And according to EASA, you can describe the subcategory A1 as fly over the people, but not over assembly of people. A2, fly close to people. And A3, fly far from people. And every of these three subcategories have different regulations. And in which subcategory you're going to fly is all depend from your class identification of your drone. For example, if you got drone C0 or C1, you will fall in the subcategory A1. If you got a class identification drawn C2, will go into subcategory A2. Or if you got drawn C3 or C4, will fall into A3 subcategory. And the class identification of your drone is depend on the weight of your drone. It's depend on your maximum take of mass. And for example, C0 drones are below 250 grams. C1 drones are above 250 grams, but below 900 grams. C2 drones are above 900 grams but below 4 kilo, and C3 and C4 drones are above 4 kilo but below 25 kilo. And C3 and C4 drones, they have the same maximum takeoff mass, but the classifications depend on the size of the drone. And the drones above 25 kilo, they can't fly in the open category, they have to fly in a specified or certified category. And to legally fly in the EU, you require to register yourself as a drone operator and complete some training. And for example, DJI Mini 4 Pro drone is below 250 gram. That's mean his class identification is a C0. That's mean it's not a toy because if it's a toy, it doesn't have any class identification. And that's required from you to legally fly in the EU to register yourself as a drone operator, but doesn't require to complete any training. Air 3S is a 724 gram drone. That's mean his class identification is a C1. And to legally fly in the EU, you require to register yourself as a drone operator and complete online training for A1, A3 open subcategory. Mavic 3 Pro is a 958 gram drone. That's meant it's a class identification is a C2. And to legally fly in the EU, you require to register yourself as a drone operator, complete online training for A1, A3 open subcategory and additional training for A2 open subcategory. And Inspire 3 is a 4.3 kilo drone. That's mean its class identification is a C3. And that's required to register as a drone operator. Complete online training for A1, A3 subcategory. As well, we can't forget to mention about the older drones before class identification regulation. That's mean the drones made before January 2024. And these drones, if they below 250 grams or privately built drones below 250 grams, they will fall in the subcategory A1 and the same regulation as the C0 drones. Everything above 250 grams and privately built drones above 250 grams will fall in the subcategory A3 and the same regulation as for C3 or C4 drones. And just to summarize everything to legally fly in the EU, you require to register yourself as a drone operator for every each class identification drones in every each subcategory, you require to complete the trainings for every each subcategory. The only exemption is a C0 drones, they doesn't require the trainings. However, it is recommended to complete the trainings for the C0 drone as well. And remember, please always check in the regulation before you fly it because regulation could change. And please always check National Aviation Authority website from the country you are visiting for the actual rules at the moment. And if you'd like to check other drone regulation or detailed explanation of each subcategories, please browse my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and we we'll see you in the next video.